is Svein Mathiesen. I'm a visiting professor at Northeastern Federal University here in Yakutsk. I'm working with adaptation to climate change in the Arctic. But uh, I'm not Yakut, I'm not Russian. I'm from Norway and I'm living in Norway, which has a border to Russia. Uh, and I'm living in a small uh, village called Kautokeino with 3,000 people and 100,000 reindeer. So in Kautokeino, the Sami people owns those reindeer. They are the indigenous people to that territory in Norway. Uh, Sami people own the reindeer themselves and they are the main resource for the economy of their communities. It's about 300 kilometers to the coast, so it's not as cold in Kautokeino as it is in Yakutsk. Yakutsk or Yakutia, I call it the fourth pole, the north pole, south pole, Himalaya and Yakutia. Kautokeino could be minus 30 degrees in winter. So it's nice and cold. A little bit of snow and 100,000 reindeer. In summer, these reindeer are migrating to the coast. And the coast is green grass along the Atlantic Ocean. Very good grass along the coast with islands, peninsulas. So that's where the reindeer are growing and being fat. Today, the Sami reindeer husbandry in Norway is threatened by different factors. One of the factors are what we call climate change. In our research, in collaboration between our institute or center of International Center for Reindeer Husbandry in Norway, and NEFU, uh, we have found that air temperature in my village in Kautokeino has increased with more than three degrees since 1930. Today it's the 17th of December. Yesterday it was an agreement between all world countries how to follow the climate agreement from Paris. Yesterday the agreement was signed in Katowice in Poland. And people are now talking that global air temperature should not increase with more than 1.5 degrees. You are living in Sakakutia and you think that's, that's no problem. But people are thinking now, and most economists in the world are thinking, that 1.5 degrees will have a significant effect on the economy, on the world economy in future. In my community, we already have three degrees increase. And reindeer herders are stressed. They're losing calves, a lot of predators, pastures are getting bad. And we already see that with three degrees increase in air, not 1.5, but three degrees already. I'm not talking about future. I'm talking about what's happening in Norway now. Three degrees already means that the snow is melting. Snow is melting in the spring. It could be good, but it could be also be bad. Because in March, when the snow starts to melt, uh, it creates uh, ice layers and the reindeer has difficulty to dig through and find food. So already now we see significant effect of climate change. I'm not talking about the future. 
I'm talking about now, exactly now. And in our community is 3,000 people, 100,000 reindeer, and this warming of the air we see there already affects people economy. We don't know so much about this here in Sakakutia yet. This is what we hope to develop a research and education program to find out how the air temperature or increase in air temperature could affect the economy of Sakakutia also in the future. That will be a part of the uh, uh, strategic plan for the Arctic. In Norway, where I'm living, we already see in the middle of the winter rain on snow. That means, yes, I said to you it's cold, but in the middle of the winter it starts to rain. So you get a rain on the snow, which freezes the next day. This makes it extremely difficult and affects the economy. In a recent publication we made, in, in a cooperation between our institute and NEFO, it was published in Nature Climate uh, 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 Change magazine, we, we, we see a clear uh, a change in the frequency of bad grazing years. So 100 years ago, even 50 years ago, there was no rain on snow. And we see that the last 20 years, the, the, the frequency of bad winters has increased, affecting reindeer husbandry, affecting the economy of reindeer husbandry. So already now we see this, this is going on and people have to start to feed and that costs a lot of uh, money. And the conclusion so far is that those people, the indigenous people of the Arctic, Sami people is no, in Norway, the Sami reindeer herders, they are the most vulnerable already before this change has started. To live in Oslo, climate change is no problem. But when you are dependent on snow, and when you are dependent on a reindeer uh, eating grass and lichens, yagil, people are very vulnerable when these kind of changes take place at the top. So my first conclusion is that the warming, three degrees, not 1.5, already has an effect of the economy of Sami reindeer husbandry in Norway. So has Norway developed any adaptation plans? No. Norway has not developed any adaptation plan. Play plans to adapt to the changing future. That's why we now will call upon a bigger cooperation in a um, forum like Northern Forum and Arctic Council to make sure that we're using the best knowledge available to develop plans. So Sami reindeer herders in Norway will still have a good economy in the future. Best available knowledge, what is that? It means, yes, it means that we have to have good educated scientists. We have to have good ed educated politicians based on scientific evidence. Science is important. In Russia, science has a long history providing knowledge for your dis decisions in the, your society. In Norway too. But in reindeer husbandry, which is maybe a thousand years old, the reindeer husbandry, um, there is another knowledge base which has not been used in the planning at all in Norway. 
that the Sami reindeer herders traditional knowledge. So that's the knowledge which this indigenous people has accumulated over generation and which actually has been transferred from one generation to another, which has never been written down. It's not in any textbooks. What is it? It's about breeding of animals. It's about what kind of structure in the herd. It's how you herd the animals, how you slaughter the animals, what kind of behavior of the animals do you have in the herd. Do you have sn good snow diggers of animals in your herd? Um, this is traditional knowledge. And that has to be used in an equal uh, way, that scientific knowledge. And we are working in Norway to make sure that traditional knowledge is going to be a part of the adaptation plan. This is important because not only climate change in Norway affect the reindeer husbandry. We see that industrial development in Norway is affecting the pastures and the main um, the main, most important measure um, for adapting to these three degrees is protection of grazing land. It will be the most important adapting strategy for the reindeer husbandry under climate change. That was just reported in the IPCC report from UN. So to protect the grazing land is the most important adapting strategy. So we are talking about actually a multidisciplinary understanding of different kind of knowledge system, which could be used to adapt the society and which could be used to develop the economy of the indigenous Sami reindeer herders community in Norway. If that knowledge is allowed to be used, we will still have indigenous communities in the Arctic in future with a good economy. <laughs>